A website is made up of a number of web pages. You might want to have a page on your site that has different permissions or levels of access than other pages on your site. For example, you might want to have a page that's invisible to everyone except for one or two people who are explicitly given permission to see it. Or you might want to have a page where a few people are given the rights to edit the content on that page. For example, you might want to use one page on your website as a wiki and allow the students in your class the rights to be able to add content to that page or edit content on that page. But of course, you don't want them to be able to edit anything else on your website. Page level permissions is how you accomplish this. And I'm going to show you how to turn those on and set those up. You can see on my website, I've added this page right here called test page. And using page level permissions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that page invisible to everyone in the world except for one person who not only will have the rights to see it, but I'm going to give her the rights to edit that page as well. To turn on page level permissions, click More, Manage Site, and Sharing and Permissions. Click this button over here, Enable Page Level Permissions, and you turn them on. Here's my website and all of the pages contained on my website. And this is the page we were talking about, test page. I don't want that page to be visible to anyone else in the world. I want to make it invisible. All right, so what I'm going to do is I click on test page, and right here where it says this page is public on the web, I'm going to change that. I'm going to make that page private. All right, now here's how we can verify that. Of course, you still see it because I'm signed in as me, but let me sign out. I'll come back to that web page and that tab is gone. So that page right now is invisible except to me because I was the only person who was listed as having rights to see that page. Let me show you how to add someone else. I'm going to sign back in. Go to more, manage site, sharing and permissions. This is the um, kind of confusing part about page level permissions. Though I, I want to add a person here to test page, you have to add them individually at the site level. So I've got site highlighted. I'm going to add my wife. I'm going to use her Gmail account, and I'm not going to send her an email telling her I'm doing this. So because I'm skipping the email, it's telling me that she won't know that she has this level of access, and that's fine. And then this is telling me that the uh, person at this address is not within our organization. It's not a Richland 2 email address. Am I sure that I want to do this? Yes. So it has added her at the site level. Now the default at the site level, this is important, when it adds people in, it gives them the right to edit. At the moment, this means she can edit any page on my website. I'm going to change that to view. So she has view level access to all of the pages on my website at the moment. But when I come down here to test page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that to edit. All right, now if you look at any other page, she can view, she can view, she can view. But on test page, she can edit. That's all there is to setting up page level permissions. You just click up here at the site level, you add people individually, or if you've set up a group like your third period history class, you can add them all in there at once. And then you uh, go to the page where you want to set up their rights, and you give them uh, that level of access on that particular page. And that's all there is to page level access. You can control what people see on your website, and you can control what people can do with individual pages on your website.